Special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Bath to Build tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the S80 Plus Class Submarine. The S80 Plus Class is a Spanish class of four submarines in production by the Spanish company Avantia in Carginia shipyard for the Spanish Navy. In common, in, or in common with other contemporary submarines, they feature uh, air independent propulsion. The lead ship in the class, the Isaac Peril S81, was planned to enter service in 2001 and the rest in 2022 through 2024. The S80 class has been offered for export. So yeah, really uh, interesting uh, ship here. It's basically a very, um, you know, smaller kind of length uh, submarine. Uh, very similar to what I really stuck along with the Soru class, kind of in terms of its size and real purpose. Uh, but overall, really nice looking submarine, and again, kind of a classic uh, look to it. Just a black tube and the conning tower, and um, overall, I think it does look pretty cool. And this is our ever, first ever Spanish BAFTA build from World War II, Cold War, Modern Warfare, all that. So that's also a fun uh, little fact there for... Um, you guys also, so really cool to kind of finish or visit the Spanish Navy, which, um, you know, really isn't, uh, seen too much in the modern eye. But yeah, really cool looking submarine and, uh, overall cool design for it. I want to go and give special links to Patreon supporter, uh, Koya for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more, you guys already do, feel free to check out my Patreon page. Link is down in the description where you're going to pledge a small amount to the channel every month and earn any other core quests you're choosing, depending on which tier you go ahead and just decide to sub to. It helps support my channel and the work I do, and it's, uh, a good way to get basically one of your, uh, dying requests built by me. So, feel free to check it out. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look here real quick at the SAD. Um, plus class and see exactly what we got going on here before we go and dive into building it. So as you can see here it's in a full black uh, color scheme except for the little uh, gray up here on the tip. Moving back here with the conning tower obviously the different uh, communication equipment and uh, observation equipment stuff like that on top of the tower. Uh, we do have two fins here on the sides and uh, it's basically the tower there pretty simple and straightforward stuff. As we work our way back you know obviously the standard tube like design here of the submarine when we come back here we have basically the um, propulsion system back here and the uh, basically uh, propellers here uh, to propel it forward. So overall really nice looking sub and it's going to make a great addition to any of your Modern Warfare scenarios where you're looking to put maybe the Spanish uh, Navy into some kind of a uh, battle or something. Anyways, cool looking submarine, let's move into the tutorial by beginning uh, with our uh, first part. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our tutorial. Now, before we go ahead and jump into it, I want to mention a few things for you guys so we're all on the same page when we start this tutorial. To begin uh, with, the first thing is that if you're placing this in the water, whether it's underwater, whether it's um, laid on the surface or whatever, just note that some blocks will not be able to place, like buttons, wither skeletons, holes, item frames, and stuff like that will all disappear and won't be able to place to be placed in the water. If you're building it out of water on land or dry dock, you can put those details in, and I like to include them because they really help bring the shape and the look of the build together, but unfortunately in water, we do have to lose some of that detail. So just, uh, you know, make sure you keep note of that and you know, understand that that will happen. Also, if you want to build the submarine um, at the surface, then I'm going to show you guys exactly where we need to start this tutorial. So, to kind of begin with, uh, we're going to have this first row here, which is a stone top slab. Basically, this row of top slabs here on the bottom. Now, we need to make sure that we take, for example, here, this row of blue wool representing the water level. We're going to be placing down this stone top slab underneath that water level right there. So, as you can see, you want something like this here with the position uh, to get started. If you're building this underwater, then just take note of the height and make sure you have enough clearance underwater to place it um, and all that. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So, we have the stone top slab here. We're going to place down an iron trap door coming off it. And then going back from here, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, break top slabs back followed by a dark liquid trap door and a narrow brick top slab like that on the end there. After that's done, that's it for our bottom row here. We're going to go ahead and then build up to our next row. Start off with, on top of this iron trap door, we're going to place down a black um, concrete block like this, a wither skeleton skull to both sides, and a dark oak button. Just note the wither skeleton skulls and dark oak wood buttons will disappear if it is in water. After that, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 
black concrete blocks back from that first one, so you're going to have a row of 14, and then a nether brick wall here on the ends. On both sides of the nether brick wall, we're going to place down a dark liquid sign, like so. And then on the back here, we're going to place down a item frame, and that in that item frame, we're going to place down a cobweb. Again, if it's in water, you will not be able to place that item frame. After that's done, go ahead and go into the sides here. We're going to go back from the nether brick stair, or the wither skeleton here. We'll just go with the schools here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, nether brick walls back, followed by a wither skeleton school. And same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then another wither, skull, wither skeleton school on the back here. After that's done, on top of, or basically the sides here of this black concrete block, we're going to place down a dark liquid fence gate to both sides for the rear fins. Now moving back up to the front, we're going to go up from the first black concrete block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door, followed by a row of two of an Arabic slabs back from it, one, two, and then an Arabic stair. From the Arabic stair, we're going to place down one, two, black concrete blocks back, a dark oak wood trap door to both sides of those black concrete blocks, and on top of the uh, dark oak wood trap doors, we're going to place down black carpet. On top of this black concrete block, we're going to place down another black concrete block up like that, an Arabic stair coming off of it toward the rear here, and we're going to take dark oak signs and wrap around the sides and front of these stairs, or of the stair, like so. After that's done, we're going to then take our iron or end rods, we're going to place down one and two end rods on top here, and then a skeleton skull on top of this uh, middle end rod, or the, the one that's toward the front there. If this ship is completely submerged, uh, you can go ahead and use iron bars, or another brick fence post will be a good substitute. Go ahead and go back from the conning tower and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Another brick slabs, a daylight detector, a dark oak with trap door, and we're going to then place down another brick wall there on the very last black concrete block. And with that all complete there, that is going to wrap up my design for the S80 Plus class submarine for the Spanish Navy. Hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This can be the thing from the side of the build, between to my channel where this video if this doesn't bring any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your free user for projects you guys are working on uh, overall. Enjoy the build, have fun with it and all that stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Koya for making this uh, tutorial possible and feel free to check out my Patreon page. Again, link is always in my video descriptions. And that, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video 204, and I'll see you guys next time.